Jeannie's Designs. And I'm getting ready to make a set just like what I carry every day because I have carried these three things for probably over a year and they look brand new and they are very useful. And so I don't know if others are gonna like them or not, but I'm gonna sell them as a set. So there's three, there's uh, eyeglass case. I much prefer this kind of eyeglass case. Number one, I can easily access my glasses and I can keep an, a glass cleaner in there, no issues. So that's the eyeglass cleaner and this is uh, vinyl. And I um, just use cotton on the inside, which I, that's what I'm doing today. A Jordan pouch which I keep all the things that are loose in my purse, like a small thing of hand lotion, eyeglass cleaner, a file, um, a few band-aids, uh, lipstick, chapstick, you know, everything that you're always digging in the bottom of your purse for, I can't stand it. So one of those, again, this is out of vinyl. This has waterproof canvas on the inside, so I did cut a piece of waterproof canvas for today's. And then a purse pal. I use my purse pal every single day, and it I'm telling you, it's lasted, and it looks brand new. I did edge coat it, and I'll probably edge coat the one that I'm making today as well, but it's got, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six credit card slots, and I have, most of them are doubled that I have in there. There's a place for cash or receipts, and then a zipper pocket, which I have other little cards that I don't want to have out here. Like my COVID card, I have like a spare house key in there. Here's our receipt. So, um, I don't need this, I don't believe. Let me just look at it, yeah, I don't need those receipts. So this is gonna be sold as a set. Eyeglass case, Jordan pouch, and a purse pouch. Today, what I'm making them out of is, I may have to keep this for myself, I don't know, um, is some of the vinyl that I just got in from Fabric Therapy. This is the watercolor color, uh, leopard. It is absolutely stunning. And then this, this is the purse pal. So I did, I did most of this stuff on my scan and cut. I cut out my credit card slots on the scan and cut. It's got the holes cut out already. I love it. And then the other piece for the zipper out of this. And then this is the lining piece in the blue. And then the two um, tabs. Sometimes the scan and cut doesn't get the hole out completely. So I'll have to work on that a little bit, but here's the two tabs. That's the purse pound. Mm, absolutely stunning. Oh, and I'm using, um, landscaping fabric for the credit card slots. So that's that. The Jordan pouch, again, is out of the watercolor leopard and the waterproof canvas. And then for the tabs, I'm just using a leftover piece of the vinyl. So that's that. And then the raccoon case, I don't like to use waterproof canvas on the inside of a glasses case. I think it's just a hair rough, and I don't know that it would scratch the glass on glasses, but it's not worth it to risk it on mine or yours, actually. But I'm doing the uh, this on the outside, the watercolor leopard on the outside, and then I'm using this very soft uh, cotton on the inside, uninterfaced. It doesn't need to be interfaced. And that's it. Oh, no, that's not it. Sorry. Um, I'm using uh, hot pink <gasps> nickel number five zipper tape. And I haven't quite decided 
uh, what I have a, a, a little stash of number five zipper pulls. I haven't decided what I'm going to use yet. Just something simple though. So I'll find some matching the zipper pulls. And then I will need one snap for the um, purse pal. And that's it. I believe that's it. So let's get started. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, subscribe, and comment, and feel free to share this video. Okay. So the nice thing about cutting out on the scan and cut, um, it cuts out your middle notches. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. It cuts your notches there, there, all the way around on all four sides. I love that. So all you have to do is, and I made my zipper probably way too long, but that's all right, is mark your center in your okay, side of, um, in your zipper tape. And for my tabs, I just cut about a, mm, let me see what's, this is about, yep, about a three inch piece. And just folded those over so those are ready to go. So the first thing we're gonna do on the outside is center our zipper. And I'm gonna use Wonder Clips. I might have to order new Wonder Clips. I've had them breaking left and right. I mean, it's been crazy. <sighs> They're cheap, so it's not a big deal, but I go through phases. I don't know about you guys, but I go through phases where they just break a lot, and then I can go a month or more and not break one. Maybe they're mad because I'm using those hair clips and they said, well, you haven't used this in a while, so we're gonna break. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, I'm using hot pink thread today too. And I hope I can get through this without changing, but I have another bobbin ready to go, so let's see. And I'm really just basting this in place. And I'm gonna use a stitch like the four. It's kind of funny, I'm, I'm going between machines. So like the singer, there's a lever to go up and down. Here, there's a, I just hold my button, or I push down my, and then on my Bernina, there's a, a button to push. It's in front of you. <laughs> so, like, oh, they're all different. right side down and my fabric is right side up. This is such a useful pattern. It really is. I have not tried to enlarge it. I wonder I don't really think it needs to be bigger. The pencil pouch um, by Sweetly Unique is bigger. So um, if you need something bigger, I'd probably would just do that one rather than try and uh, make this bigger. Okay, so I'm just moving that over. Again, right sides together on the other side of my pouch. 
and I matched up my centers. And this pouch just has a slight curve. I still think it's a very beginner friendly pattern. If you're new to curves and zippers, just take your time. You can do it. I don't, uh, I sometimes, I should say sometimes, use uh, double side tape. I'm not today. Again, that's something else that I honestly do go in phases using. I'm not doing it today. Today's another day. Um, for now, I'll, I'll use it on the um, first pound. This is another basting stitch. I mean, there's just no comparison. I mean, I love that old singer, but uh, there's no comparison to this baby. It sounds just like a dream. All right, take your lining and match up your centers. Again, And then we're going to sew that together at the full seam allowance, which is just about a quarter of an inch. Now, I'm using a number five zipper. If you're using a number three, which you could, um, your seam allowance for the, the final is a, probably a tiny bit less. Because number three zippers are a little smaller. And I'm just gonna clip them both at the same time. In one of my earlier videos, somebody said, and I had to laugh because I completely agree. They liked the sound of somebody digging for a clip. And I do too. I forget. It was early on. I forget who it was. If, you, if you're that person, you should uh, say something because I have never forgotten that comment because I completely agree with it. It's so funny. It's the things that we get used to when we're sewing that we like the sound of. <laughs> I think it's funny. All right, we'll see my allowance here. Go around your curve, make sure you're feeling and looking in there and not going over any zipper tape. I mean teeth, not tape. Of course we're going over the zipper tape. Don't go over your zipper teeth. Oh, 
my husband and I are going to see um, Mission Impossible today. And we're on a movie kick right now because there's a bunch of good movies out. Something stuck to me. I didn't think. Oh, there it is. And I have to tell you something funny. Yesterday, let me get this set on. Yesterday we went to see Oppenheimer, and if you've not gone to see it, I'm not going to give anything away, so you don't have to mute me, but it's a three-hour movie. The theater was freezing, it's freezing in there, so I always bring a blanket to the theater, and I'm just going to barely trim these curves, I know. It's kind of sacrilegious because I don't like to trim zipper tape. But if you don't, you don't get as good of a curve. So I'm just using my... Anyway, I always take a blanket with me. So it was freezing in there. So I got my blanket out. I got all cozy. I always wear socks. I almost wear socks every day inside anyway. I think I missed the last hour of the movie. I zonked. We ate a bunch of popcorn. Not a good idea. We ate a bunch of popcorn and I fell fast asleep. My husband woke me up once, but that didn't matter. I fell, I fell right back asleep. So I missed uh, the last hour of the movie. I mean, I got the gist of it, but I was like, <laughs> I don't think I'll fall asleep today. I think today's movie's long too, but okay. I won't fall asleep today. Um, turn it right side out and take your time. It's a little, depending on your fabrics, it takes a few minutes or a minute or two to turn it right side out because the opening there is not huge. But again, just like anything, take your time. And pull it as you go. This is just absolutely gorgeous vinyl. Oh my gosh. And mine's a little sticky on the wrong side because I used um, basting tape for my scan and cut to keep the, the vinyl in place. So that's all right. It doesn't matter on that side at all. That's the one thing about this pouch that, see, that's not too bad. The turning hole is pretty small. Okay. And now we're just going to top stitch along that zipper and add our tabs at the same time. And here's where you want to just verify that you didn't get too close to your zipper teeth. And you can test it. I would probably do that before you sew any further. I'll do it. I think I'm pretty good, but I'll go ahead and do it. Yeah, see it's catching it, but it's because I haven't top stitched it yet. There we go. Oh. I may want to keep it. I can 
make more. All right, so this is where we're gonna put our tab. And we're gonna put the tab on the outside bar. Uh-huh, that makes sense. And center that tab. On, and I put two tabs. You don't absolutely have to do two tabs. You could just do one. It's really just to help um, open and close, open and close it. But I personally like to do two tabs. All right, let's uh, top stitch. I'm gonna check my bobbin. I better do that before I do anything. I think I have enough to do this part. I'm trying to, I have a bunch of really um, bobbins that don't have much on them. <sighs> so I'm trying to get rid of them. Okay, let's top stitch. And I usually start near one of the tabs. something. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Hmm. I messed with it. Okay, that'll be good. Mm -hmm. Alright, one more tab here. Oh, well, that sounds better. Mm -hmm. okay. And as you go along these curves, just Basting that other tab in place. And let's top stitch the other side.
stunning. <laughs> All right, so that's what you have on the, the inside. And um, your tabs are on the outside. Love it, love it, love it. All right, let's zip it up. Isn't that cute? Okay. All right, so now we are, I haven't done this in a while, so we're gonna close this. Oops. I gotta bring that zipper. Close your zipper for just just a little. Oops. It might help if I have it right side. Close your zipper and so that that the, the bag is wrong side out. And now we're going to close this end just like that. Now on this other side, because you don't have a zipper to bring it together, you wanna just crisscross, and I'll show you here, and meet your zipper tape just like that. Man, I really overdid it. And you wanna make sure that your zipper ends meet. So just like that. You saw I went over my zipper a couple times. And now we will trim that off. My hands have a little basting uh, spray on them so they're sticking. Okay. And I forgot, I gotta go cut some um, waterproof canvas to finish this. So. I'll go do that here in a second. But let's finish this. Make sure your zipper pull is in there or you'll regret that. Um, I do know that happens. Again, we'll cut off our zipper tape and I cut I cut this to about a quarter of an inch maybe a hair yeah no it's really about a quarter of an inch all right so that's what you have so far let me go cut a couple pieces of um, the blue waterproof canvas just to finish this off so there's no raw edges showing I'll be right back all right, so you just put that piece of waterproof canvas, and if it's too long, that's absolutely fine. We're just gonna cover that raw edge on both sides. And we're gonna sew that in place. Try and make them even. Mm, I didn't catch both sides. I'm just afraid of that. Not a big deal. We'll just go right back over it. Like binding, you know, sometimes you do catch it and sometimes you don't. This is actually just a little piece of binding, okay. And then any extra, you just cut that off, and that's what you have, okay. Let's do that on the other side. I 
don't catch it this time. I'm not really worried about it. If I don't, I'll just go over it. I'm just uh, burning the ends of the waterproof canvas. And that is it, guys. That's the, ooh, that got hot. Um, that's the Jordan pouch. Just turn it right side out. And it is done. This is the nicest vinyl. It's the smooth vinyl from Fabric Therapy, and I, she had it in retail. I didn't do any pre-order for this. There you go. There's the Jordan pouch in the vinyl. Perfect. All right, let's move on. We'll do the um, eyeglass case next, and it's going to have to be after the movie. So I'll let you know how that goes. Perfect. All right, All right exactly. so the eyeglass case. Um, <clears throat> this uses about a 25 inch piece of zipper tape, and I'm using number five. You can use number three as well, but you only use one side of it. So this piece, you, can, you have enough to make two with one okay. zipper tape. So then I just leaving, I left a little bit on each end. I clipped it around. She says she uses double-sided tape. I'm just, I typically just base these in place. I just think it's easier than tape, especially around curves. Myself. So the teeth are right, the zipper tape is right side down. The teeth are on the inside. And the fabric is right side up. Oh my goodness, my husband's out there. Um, amazing. slow around these curves. I mean, they're not really big. They're a little bit subtle curves, but they are curves nonetheless. Okay. I haven't changed my bobbin yet. Okay, now I'm gonna add my lining right side down. So this was a little confusing to me on when I first did this pattern, so I'm gonna show you. So this is the, obviously the right side of my fabric. This underneath here is the right side of my zipper. So the teeth go on the inside, but the zipper is right sides together with the vinyl piece. And now I am going to clip these in place and sew at the full seam allowance. I got some more Singer stuff in. I got my bobbins in. I got some uh, bobbins, but they didn't fit. They weren't original bobbins. They were a remanufactured, but they said they would fit. And somebody told me you have to be careful because not all bobbins fit that machine. 
she was right. So I'll show it to you here now. I'll show it to you at the end of this video. Like I said, I did not interface this. You certainly could with just a piece of woven. This cotton from the Marmino is thick enough. I don't think it needs any interfacing. That's just my opinion. Okay, now we'll sew this together. At the full seam allowance. <clears throat> thing when you're going around the curve make sure you're not going to go over your teeth so I always had to put my finger in there to feel it not too close. Cut anything off yet. Don't cut that zipper tape off. Because we still have to put our pull on. Alright, once again, I'm going to just do around these curves, I'm just going to do a little pacing. Not much, just a little. really creates a mess. It's worth it. All right, let's turn this right side out. We're almost done, believe it or not. Uh, hold on. Did I miss something here? What you have now if you're doing it out of all cotton you certainly could go and iron it but I've got vinyl so I'm not gonna iron it I'm gonna have to sneeze okay now we're gonna just top stitch all the way around like the other um, pouch, pull your zipper tape a little bit just to flatten it, especially around your curves. I'm just 
making sure I'm not getting a little caught there. The lining is laying flat. All right, so this part can be a little tricky. The one thing you do want to do is get your ends together, and I clip them. And then I am going to cut my zipper tape so that it's even. Because when I put the zipper pull on, I want it to be even. Okay. Now we're going to put our zipper on. And make sure it's even. Forget how we close this though. So just a second. I haven't made one in a while. That's hilarious. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm gonna open this up just a little. Now we're gonna lay that flat, and we're just gonna sew across the bottom. I don't know. I don't have mine in here. I don't know if I uh, put a piece of. Um, I think I did the same thing. I put a piece of. Um, Hardproof canvas there. Okay, so now we're going to sew this closed. And, uh, oh, yeah, let me go get my glasses. Hold on, because this is too big. I remember I had to cut a bunch off. Hold on. All right, so I just got my other one out. And it's plenty big, but you just want to grab your glasses and just make sure that you're going to have plenty of room. I leave an extra inch. So we're cutting off a lot. And that's okay. Just make sure your zipper's up there. And I'm going to leave a quarter of an inch for my seam. And then I'm just going to sew across that line. And I probably will trim that just a little more because we're going to put a piece of... And I just cut this in half, not thinking about it, so I gotta go cut a new piece, goofy girl. All right, just leave your piece long, and this is just a one inch piece. I am gonna uh, burn the ends of my zipper. Pretty good. And I'm gonna trim that down just a little more after I just burnt the end of, end of my zipper. And then we're just gonna put that on and do it just like we did the Jordan pouch. I'm just gonna verify, yeah. So there's my glasses, plenty of room. Okay. Most sunglasses are about the same, so let me measure it for you. It ends up being finished about seven inches. 
maybe a little bit bigger. It's up to you and um, how much room you want to have in there. I gotta get rid of all this stuff. I got so much stuff here. Oh, goodness. And I leave it off the edge just a little. And you can, if you want to, you could put a piece of double side tape. Okay, let's sew that on. This is Ottertech waterproof canvas. Uh, it doesn't matter, just something that doesn't fray is what you want. Then I will just gently burn the ends. All right, let's turn it right side out. Zip it up. Oh, might help if I push it out a little. And I remember this. This, there we go. Once it, once you get it going, it's fine. But I gotta push that out just a little. There we go. Perfect. There's my sunglasses. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Our Jordan pouch and our sunglass case. Okay. I'm gonna put mine back in here or I'll get to the car and I won't have them. All right, so those two are done. Let's do our push pouch. So these are the um, tabs that come with the pattern. I'm just going to punch my hole out here. Some people actually prefer, I've done several, like actually two other videos on the purse pal by itself. Some people prefer to have a wider tab. I personally, I've used mine for over a year. I don't think, I don't have any issues with it whatsoever. So I am putting a piece of double side tape there. And then I will put just a small piece of uh, Decaville light. This is pretty thick um, vinyl, so I don't really think that I'm going to need this, but when I do snaps, I really think it's a good idea to do um, a little extra. You're using this snap all the time. And then I'm just gonna, we're gonna put those on top and sew around them a top stitch before we put our snap on. Otherwise you can't get around the snap. And I, I probably struggle with this part the most, getting it on there straight. I know. 
That's pretty straight there. And if it's not perfect, we can trim it once um, before we edge coat, if we're gonna edge coat. All right, so let me see how much bobbin I have again. You know what? I'm just gonna change my bobbin so I don't have to worry about it for this uh, purse pump. I mean, this has a lot of top stitching, so the last thing I want is not to have enough bobbin right in the middle of the top stitching. That would be very bad. Okay. All right, I'm going to top stitch. And my, I'm gonna decrease my stitch length to about three because this is such a small piece. If it's not perfect up here, don't worry about that. That's going to be it hidden inside the seam. So don't worry about that. Okay. All right. Now... I use a blue since the inside of it is blue. Okay. Nope, not that color. So the male portion, um, I put on the tab. Yeah. I have to tell you, we went to see Mission Impossible today. And you know, uh, All right, there's your tab. So I might have to do just some a bare trimming there. And I'm gonna go ahead, since I have this out, do the, the other, the female portion goes right here. And on this one, I am gonna double up on my Decaville light. You could use a piece of Decaville heavy here, but I've got this out, so I'm just going to use it. Okay, so there's your hole for it. This goes on the back. The button piece goes on the back. And then the female portion goes right there. So 
So I started to tell you a story. We went to Mission Impossible today and it was very good. However, on the way there, you know, you, you put your ticket, at least we do, all our tickets are on our phone. On my phone in particular. I forgot my phone at home. We had plenty of time. We, we drove back, not a big deal. And um, got, got my phone headed back actually on the way home to get my phone the car it's a 19 uh actually it's a 2007 tahoe that i inherited from my dad in 2018 and you know we drunk we drive that all the time pretty much that's all we drive my car just sits in the garage. I'm just putting uh, eighth inch double side tape under each card slot piece. And so we barely got home. I mean, I don't know what happened. We've been really lucky. We haven't had to spend much money on it. But now we're at the a point where, you know, do you, do you spend money on a... Uh, what is it, 13, 14, almost 16-year-old car that has 145,000 miles on it? Or do you invest in a new car? Or a used car, either way. So, I mean, we're lucky we have another car that we can use while we're trying to decide. We're gonna take it in to see what it is. So it could, because if it's an easy fix, you know, $100 or something, I'll probably just get it fixed. But I kind of doubt that, that that's what it is. So I will be doing a sale on my website uh, and on my fabric website, a little deeper sale because we may have to buy a new car. You know, and we're both retired. And so um, spending money on a new car really is not in the budget and that's okay I mean you know stuff happens so all right I'm getting my zipper out I'm just getting all my pieces prepped while I'm telling you my sad story I dropped something let me get it hold on all right so this is my lining piece and I just put a piece of double-sided tape on either side of the slit and on the ends. And I'm just gonna fold that back just slightly less than a quarter of an inch. And my little tabs on the ends as well. Let's see how this uh, water, this is Wonder Ground waterproof canvas. I like it so far. I have no idea what happens here. We're just going to trim that up. My scan and cut went rogue. All right. So here's my zipper. And I did also put two pieces. Uh, double sided tape here and I want this going up I want my zipper going up I'll talk about that a little more here in a second I should go grab my probably be easier to explain on mine but it's not that hard. Okay. All right, so it's going to go like this. It's going to be folded like this. And I want my zipper pull going up. Okay, I'm going to grab a tag. And we're going to use 
good tag here. I'm gonna mark my center. And I'm putting it on the back. This is considered the back. This will be the front that'll have the card slots. And I'm putting it two inches from the bottom. Always have to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I couldn't find my mark. Again, just be careful when you make your slits. Don't go too deep. Okay. It's bad when you have to uh, make sure it's right side up. Okay. Put my piece of Decaville heavy and then my washer. And I'm just going to fold them in. And then I will put a piece of Decaville light over that so it just doesn't rub too hard on my lining piece. You don't have to do this and it doesn't have to be deck of a light but I always have tons of little scraps and I figure I might as well use them. Okay, so that's what we have so far. That's how it's going to be, and my tag is on this side. All right, so take your lining piece, and that's coming up. Interesting. And we're going to lay that. All right, so I have no idea. It didn't record. So I'm going to put a link to the video where I finish this up. The purse pal in the description because you know I've already got it together um, but I've got my logo back here I've got my zipper pull closing up I've got my slip pocket here I've got my credit card slots I added my snap and I sandwiched it in between the lining and this back piece and then I glued the sides on each side. And I'm just going to let that sit for about 10 minutes. I'm so sorry, guys. You know, I don't know why sometimes it records and sometimes it doesn't. I guess I, I really going to have to pay closer attention to that. I thought I was, but obviously not. So uh, I'm going to let that sit for 10 minutes and then we'll be right back. All right, let's sew this thing together. Just go slow. And then when you get up here by your, your, Tab, open it up. 
And over your slip pocket, just backspace or backstitch, <laughs> backstitch over that a couple times because you're going to be getting in and out of there, or your customer is, and so you don't want um, that coming apart. All right, I'm just going to barely trim this. I'm going to show you how much I'm trimming it. It is very minuscule. hard to get to it because of that. There's a knot there on these scissors. I tried these. I mean, that's all it needs. So this is what I trimmed right here. Not much. Don't over trim. I am gonna go just barely light it. And just a tiny bit here. So this one, I'm actually trying to decide whether I'm even going to edge cut it. Um, so there's your cash wallet, your coin wallet, and your card slot. I mean, there is a little bit of, um, basting spray on here. Yeah, which I'm just going to get off. There's some in here too, which is weird. And I'm just using a tiny bit of Goo Gone on a rag. That's it. Yeah. 
So there you go. Um, I'm sorry it didn't all record. I'll, I'll probably make another set, maybe do it all on uh, fast forward. There you go. So here's your set. Let me change the angle. All right, everyone. Here is the set. The Jordan pouch. I don't know why the lighting is just really bad this morning. Jordan pouch, eyeglass case, and a purse pal. So all three of these in this stunning... Um, maybe that's better. Uh, it's called Watercolor Leopard. It's just beautiful. I absolutely love it. So here's the Jordan pouch. Perfect. Here's your eyeglass case. It's got cotton on the inside, not waterproof canvas, because I'm always a little afraid of scratching glasses. And then your purse pal. Beautiful. All right, thanks for watching. Oh, I was gonna show you real quick what I got from for my singer. I got this original little box with some attachments. Look at that. You can tell it's old. I don't know how it is. But I found this very interesting. This is a ruffler attachment for the singer. Let me show you what my Bernina looks like. Hold on. My Bernina ruffler. There's the Bernita Ruffler, which I love. I use it all the time for ruffled pillows. Here's the Ruffler for uh, the singer from 1950s. They haven't changed that much. I was actually shocked. I was actually shocked. Um, and then I got a bunch of little attachments. This is a button holder, I believe. Um... This is a um, hammer, I believe. And then some of these, I don't know what they are. Oh, this is a small hammer too. And this one, I'm just, it's just got a hole in it. I'm really not sure what that is for. And then I did get a um, zipper foot. A really skinny zipper foot which is interesting because you just unscrew this to move it where you want it either left or right and then I did relent these are like three or four dollars I got an LED light bulb for it because the bulb that's in there is so yellow. It's kind of like the lighting today. I don't know what the lighting's about. I can't get it out. And I don't want to break it. Let me see what the deal is here. Hmm. There we go. It's just some LED light. I'm gonna, I'll put it on there and I'll show you the difference between the lighting. Hmm. I think it's pretty significant. We'll see. And then I did get some original bobbins. There's uh, three original bobbins in there. That's all I need. I'm not gonna be using that machine for every day, so. So, that's what I got. I thought this was really cool. And this original Singer box was, it really wasn't that expensive. I was kind of surprised. So, that's all there is. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. All right, I'm adding to this video. I'm going to try this Theratex. Uh, it's pretty thin. And then I'm just going to use black waterproof canvas for the inside. For This is going to be a Jordan pouch. 
Now, if you see there is a little uh, crease there, I'm gonna go see if I can iron this on the back. I'm gonna try it. I'm assuming that you can. I'll just do a really light iron and then we'll get started on this bag. And I'm just using this colorful zipper tape, number five zipper tape. And the tabs are gonna be the Theratex. I wanna call it vinyl, but it is not vinyl. So I need to, oops, I'm gonna have to get some, I did the same thing. I forgot to get some pieces of, um, waterproof canvas for the inside. So I'll go get this and iron it. All right, that ironed beautifully. I did iron it on this side. I don't know if that makes any difference. I didn't try it on this side. All right, I'm gonna do this on silent or fast forward since you've seen me make one of these. I am using that hot pink thread. Give it a little contrast, but I'll do this on fast forward. All right, so this is my first sewing experience with Theratex. I did a Jordan pouch, and uh, as I expected, I, and it, it's got waterproof canvas on the inside, it's a softer uh, Jordan pouch. Very squishy. Now, I, it, that doesn't really matter for this purpose, because when you put a bunch of stuff in it, I mean, it really doesn't matter. Here, I'll just put, oh, goodness, so sorry. I'll just put a bunch of this stuff in it for pens. I mean, it could be a pen pouch, too. So it's got all that stuff in it, and it's not even, not even a quarter full. Uh, it sews beautifully. Um... So I like it. Now, 
I think it can be interfaced and it irons beautifully on the white side of it. Um, so if you wanted something that had a little more body to it, then you're probably gonna wanna put some interfacing in it. I don't think this, this purpose doesn't need it. If I was using it for an interior of a bag, I'm not even sure I'd interface it either. It's kind of like a, the same goes for waterproof canvas. You typically don't interface that when you're putting it inside a bag. And I don't think I would do that for this either. It's very soft and luxurious feeling. Um, now I'm gonna tell you, I gotta get the pattern out because I cut my zipper way too long. I cut it 25 inches and that is way too long. I don't know what I was thinking. You just don't wanna waste zipper tape. So let me go look and see how what it should be. Hold on. 16 inches. And I think I normally make mine 18 inches when I make it. So 25 inches is way too long. I would make it 18 inches uh, for the Jordan pouch zipper. So, and the designer of this simple, artful stuff. I will put a link, and I think it's an Etsy shop. No, she's got a website. Simpleartfulstuff.com. Jordan Craft Case. There it is. I'd go get it. She does have two sizes. Um, I've been doing, let me just look, but I think I'm doing the large, or it's long. She has a long and a short, and I've been doing the long. I always do the long. The short is just too short. Let me show you the difference. Well, I really can't show you the difference without showing you. Well, I can do it this way. So here's the long. And here's the short. So this is the short, this is the long. It's just shorter uh, in lengthwise. And I, I I, personally just like the long. The short is fine and I have made it, but um, I prefer the long. All right, that's it. Uh, I just wanted you to see about the um, Theratex. So, isn't this cute? It's got little uh, ladybugs on it. Little stars and flowers and ladybugs. Look at that. It's so cute. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.